All right, now, for the actual workout today, we gotta go, make sure you have your timers ready. Make sure you get your stopwatch. We're gonna start with what I call 15-5. Very simple, it's an isometric, low impact exercise. Basically, 15-5 is 15 second hold with a five second rest. So you can do that with any type of tool or any type of exercise. I'm gonna use it today with squats and push-ups. So let's start the timer at zero. We're gonna work our way up to four minutes. This 15-5 is gonna be done for four minutes, okay? So get your stopwatch ready, get your timers ready. Let's start it at zero. We're gonna work our way up to four minutes. All right, here we go. So first things first, squat for four minutes, and it's 15-5, starting now. 15 second squat. While you're in this squat, I want you to think about the things responsible for the squat. So sitting the weight onto the heels, pushing the knees out. If you need to, you can rest your elbows on your knees, but try not to. Arms forward, there's your 15 seconds, we rest for five. We start again at 20 seconds. Here we go, follow me, down into the squat. Now obviously if you have something in your hands or on your back, it makes this exercise a lot more difficult, but for now, we're doing it with just our body weight. And that's perfectly fine because, uh, trust me, if you're doing this at home with me, you will be sweating by the time we finish. There's our second round of 15, up for five, and let's bring it down again. Here we go. 15, five. I really like doing this with a barbell on my back, but it's very, very difficult. <laughs> so by the time you get to that first minute, you're kind of looking for an opportunity to rest. So here we go, let's stand it up. We got our five second rest. Shake those legs out. All right, there's our first minute. Back down, 15 and five. Nice, good squat. Don't sacrifice good form for the sake of just trying to get through this workout. If you need to actually stop, go ahead and stop. Set your timer, pause it, whatever you need to do. Get through this with quality reps. Good. And just follow me as I'm talking to you. I'm gonna do this one to the side at an angle so you can kind of see what's going on. Sitting very, very deep into that, to that squat. It's almost like a deep squat, but I'm not resting. The goal is, is to be under constant load for 15 seconds and then give yourself a five second break. Good, stand it up, shake out those legs. Whew. We'll do the other side. You feel those legs burning yet? Here we go. Nice, good squat. Notice the form, hips back, weight into the heels, arms slightly forward, flat back as best you can. Okay, pushing those knees out. I don't want you to feel those glutes start to work. Good, stand up, shake it out. So now we're halfway through. If you need to, give yourself a different position. You can mimic a front squat if you need to. Once again, this is without weight, but this shows good thoracic mobility, core strength. Good, breathe it out. Good, stand it up. And if you can see at home, this is all real. This is real sweat, not fake sweat. <laughs> Here we go, another 15 seconds. Okay, maybe you can mimic a back squat. Imagine you have heavy weight on your back. This is very challenging. Make sure to breathe. Good, stand it up, shake out those legs. If you're following along at home, you know what this feels like, okay? So back to our normal squat. I'm a little bit higher this time, so I can feel a little bit more throughout the hamstrings and the glutes. A little bit lower, I feel it more in the hips. Yeah, so here we go, stand it up, shake out those legs. We got one more minute, follow along with me, and then I'll give your legs a break. We'll go into the upper body. Here's that last minute. Three more holds, breathe it out. And once you get this pattern going, you'll start to remember, you'll start to focus less on when to get up and more about the exercise itself. So it's basically zero to 15, pretty simple. Then it's 20 to 35. Right, obviously, right? And then it's 40 to 55. And so once you kind of start learning that, then you can, you can get up and down when you see those numbers. So I always get up at 15, I always get up at 35, and I always get up at 55. Good. And here's our last hold. Make it work. Whew. And then we get a chance to give those legs a break. Look at that sweat. It's coming. It's dripping all over the place. Last five second hold and then we break for five seconds and then you'll give yourself about a minute or two to relax Woo! before we start the next, the next four minute circle. Good job, breathe.